physical health is a most valuable asset, and to ensure the future value of your physical well-being, there is an important stock you may want to invest in. Interested? Hello, I'm Master Instructor Joey Bond, and if you'd like the insight on one of the fastest growing commodities in the healthcare field, then stay tuned for an update. Your physical body plays an important role in how you present yourself to others, but your mind is the internal mirror that reflects your capacity to constructively and intelligently deal with the situation in hand. The harmonious relationship between body and mind is a special feature in one of the fastest growing stocks in the healthcare field, and that commodity is self-awareness. And the stock is Tai G. And now I'd like to welcome our players on today's show. Joining us are Jennifer Shade and Yvonne Kaniko. Welcome, players. Students, if you're ready, let's carry on to our first exercise modality, which will create a pathway for today's outstanding posture. Our procession of movements will occur as though we were facing each other in a mirror. So stay with me and keep your breathing slow and steady, whether inhaling or exhaling. We'll hold an imaginary sphere about the size of a volleyball on the left side of the chest. Left hand over right. Now this is often referred to as the dragon pearl, and it sees the left hand arcing over the right. Now sink through the left leg by bending a little further into the left knee and bring the right ball of the foot beside the left foot instep. Now let's move as though being filmed in slow motion. Turn your hips and shoulders slightly right. And we'll step out in the two o'clock direction. Keeping the left knee bent, step forward and land with the right heel by sinking through the left leg. This is a customary forward step so drive 70% of your weight to the forward leg now. The left hand carries behind the right and then drops below as though spinning the dragon pearl. This action is occupied with the right hand turning palm away and carries upward, shielding the eyes from the sun, so to speak. The left hand pushes the dragon pearl forward and away and the top of the left fingers are in line with the mouth and chin. Now, your weight has been steadily driving forward. Make sure that 70% of your weight is over the right leg and about 30% therefore holds on the rear leg. Now, these actions come under the heading of today's splendid posture called play badminton right side. Let's return to the dragon pearl gesture, bringing the left hand over the right, transferring our weight to the rear leg, and the right ball of the foot slides back and holds beside the left foot instep. Are you ready? Stepping out, forming the dragon pearl and releasing it. Tai Chi's mobile and quiescent exercises helps us to adapt more effectively to the physical stresses which come from everyday living by strengthening the internal regulation of the body and revitalizing our mental energy. Come back to the pearl, and let's try that again more fluidly. That's the idea. Push through, drive your weight forward. Now let's reach for the pearl in midair with our right hand, and return it under the left. Drive your weight to the rear left leg fully, and slide the right toes in toward the left foot instep. And we're ready to start once again. Turning slightly right and stepping out. Practicing Tai Chi requires one to move all joints and parts of the body gently. The gradual transition from one movement to the next helps to transmit Chi along the instinctive pathways which govern the health of our tissues and internal organs. Returning to the pearl. 
Chi is the natural and invisible energy fuel, the nutritive substance which supports all the operations of the body and revitalizes the functions of the brain. Rolling the weight back to the left leg, relaxing the pearl gesture, and let's bring our feet together. All right, we'll chain sides and coordinate the movements which accentuate the left side dynamics. Here, the feet are facing 12 ahead. The left ball of the foot is beside the right foot instep, and the arms are arranged so that the right arm arcs over the left. Now try to imagine the roundness of the sphere that is philosophically referred to as the dragon pearl. Turn your hips and shoulders to the left in the tenaclog direction. Now the right leg is used as though it were a hydraulic lever, and in this way, our weight slowly lowers holding the left leg quietly down to the ground. Step out slowly, landing on the left heel, sinking through the right. As you drive your weight forward, the dragon pearl turns slowly, keeping the right hand under it, left hand over the top. The pearl is rotating through, left fingers down, and the right hand pushes. And the right hand is pushing further and further away from the body. Let's practice that small series of maneuvers again, shall we? Rolling back. Right hand over the left, weight to the rear leg. Drive the left foot back to the right foot instep. Are you ready? The right knee should be slightly bent for greater stability. Make sure that your hips and shoulders are turned to the left. And we're now in a position to execute the same maneuvers by stepping slightly left into a left bow stance. Compress and drive through. Now we turn the volleyball side sphere over in our hands and release it upward and away. Drive through with the left palm away from the body, the right hand pushing upward slightly. Let's roll our weight back, returning to the right dragon pearl. Weight rolls to the right leg and drive through. Let's repeat the same technique. Follow along as though looking into a mirror. Driving left and release the pearl. The mind remains still and aware while the body moves with honey-like elegance. Allow yourself to flow between physical motion and mental stillness. Return to the dragon pearl gesture. Drive your weight back. Right hand over left and slide your left toes back to your right foot instep. Let's try that again. Stepping out and release the pearl. Allow your strength to be guided by gentleness with the mind and body joining forces. And in this way, the body's natural chi energy will flow without interruption to the needed organs and tissues, re-energizing the body and revitalizing the mind. Please relax your position, students, and thank you, players. Dedicating yourself to the task at hand is the essence of Tai Chi. This is the real meaning of Gong Fu, which can be defined as mindful and meritorious effort. Now allow me to demonstrate our posture for today's class called Play Badminton Right Side and Left. I'll perform it in the correct choreographed position. Then if you would care to join me, we'll try it out together. This is play badminton right side and left. And that was play badminton, sometimes called Fair Lady Plays the Shuttles. Students, if you're ready, let's isolate the leg maneuvers first of all. We'll begin facing the 12 o'clock direction, 
and will proceed from Golden Rooster stands on right leg. The right foot faces the 12 o'clock position and you're on the ball of your left foot beside it. Now keep the right knee slightly bent for stability and we're going to balance on the right leg and then take a forward step with the left foot landing heel first. Are you ready? Lift the left leg off the ground, bring it opposite the right knee. Now step down landing heel to toe in front of the right foot. The left toes are turned slightly off to the left. Now drive your weight slowly forward. Keeping the left knee bent, upper body relaxed and straight, drive the right foot into the left foot instep. You're on the ball of the right foot. Now turn slowly to your right and we'll perform a right bow stance just as we did in our warm up. Stepping out, landing heel to toe. It's off to the right. Drive your weight slowly forward, planting the whole right foot down and bring 70% of your weight to your forward right leg. Let's continue. Roll the weight to the rear left leg. Bending into the left knee. Now, as the right toes are lifted, the gastrocnemius, that is the calf muscles, are stretched and toned. Can you feel that? The ligaments of the knees are also strengthened through what appears to be a rather small, almost insignificant lifting of the toes. Let's follow through by bringing our weight forward, bringing the right knee right over the right toe line, upper body remains relaxed and straight, slide the left foot into the right foot instep. Now we make our turn to the left. Hips and shoulders rotate as a unit. Step out slightly left and forward, keeping the right knee bent and land on the left heel. Once again, drive your weight forward so that the left knee runs right over the left toe line. Let's return to center position, and there you have it. The lower body dynamics of play badminton, first to the right, then the left. Let's study the upper body dynamics, and we'll arrange our feet in a parallel stance. Bring them out to shoulder width position. Toes pointing forward, and the feet are on the same line of reference. We are facing 12 o'clock as we isolate and practice the upper range of movements. The left hand shapes itself into the head of the feathers of a rooster, or a rooster's comb if you prefer, with the thumb held at eye level. Now the right hand presses down to the front of the right thigh to counterbalance the left arm position. Let's form a left dragon pearl. Turn your hips slightly left and create a spherical gesture with your left hand circled over your right. Now bring the right fingers toward the left elbow. It's a light compression. Gracefully turn the pearl over so as to bring the left palm behind the ancient sphere with the right hand on top. Here the hips turn back to 12, which is slightly right. Now raise the right arm above the head with the palm facing away, making sure the right thumb points down. The left hand has dropped to the stomach region just about and then pushes the dragon pearl upward and forward into the great open sky. The fingers lifting to the level of the upper chest. Now, let's continue by describing an outward circle with both hands widening outward. Allow both hands to descend slowly with the left hand near the dantian or lower abdomen while the right hand hovers in front of the right side of the chest. Now create the figure of a dragon pearl and this time with the right hand over the left. The left cupped hand proceeds to the right elbow. At this point, turn your hips slightly left. Spin the dragon pearl so that the right hand rolls under the left. Allow your left hand to turn palm away as though shielding your eyes from the bright sun. Simultaneously, the right hand drops almost to the abdominal region. Then the right hand rushes upward in a gentle extension. The right hand pushes forward, as you can see. The fingers are raised no higher than the mouth and chin. And that takes care of the upper body range. All right, relax your position. Now, students, play along as we move through these graceful patterns, keeping in mind 
that these two pieces or postures are part of the great jigsaw related to the 24 short form puzzle. Now, the expression of movements belong to the classical Peking style that we are studying in this series. Now that we have a full understanding of the movement dynamics related to play badminton, we'll hold the correct choreographed clock position facing to your right in the three o'clock direction. The right foot faces three, and the ball of the left foot is beside the right foot instep. Keep the right knee bent for greater stability. Now, raise the left hand, fingers to the sky, elbow pointing down to the earth, and allow the thumb to be no higher than your left eye. The right hand is palm down facing the earth beside the right hip region. Once again, make sure the right knee is bent for stability because we're gonna balance on the right leg and that's called golden rooster stands on one leg. Are you ready? Lifting left leg off the ground, bringing it up and form the left dragon for a slowly as you step down, left heel in front of right toe. Drive your weight forward. Now step in slowly right to left and compress the dragon pearl slightly. Are you ready? We're going to turn slightly right of your television set, and that's what I want you to do. Take it slow and steady. Breathe slowly as well and evenly through your nose. Turn your hips and shoulders to the right, heading in the five o'clock direction. Sink through the left leg and drive the right heel outward and down to the ground. Do that with me. Now that's your cue to roll the dragon pearl. The left hand coming under the right and your weight transfers 70% to the forward right leg. Make sure the right foot is securely planted to the ground. Now the right hand turns palm away, thumb pointing down and floats slightly upward. The left hand drives upward in a push hand posture. Now extend the left arm, keeping the elbow slightly bent. Roll your weight to the rear left leg. Open your hands slowly, widening them to the shoulder width position. And as your weight settles on the left leg, raise the right toes. And now bring the left hand slowly under the right. And we form the right dragon pearl. Drive your weight forward, bending into the right knee. Bring the left hand under the right in imitation of a volleyball size sphere. Now most of your weight is on your right leg. Make sure the left foot is right beside the right foot instep. Taxi the left fingers toward the right elbow. Turn your hips and shoulders to the left at two o'clock now. Sink through the right leg and extend the left heel outward and then down to the ground. That's your cue again to roll the dragon pearl, bringing the right hand under the left. The left hand drives up, palm away from the body, thumb down. The right hand pushes through. The right hand drives upward slowly, steadily, pushing the dragon pearl up into the great open sky. Now the right finger should be no higher than your mouth and make sure that your shoulders are relaxed and keep the torso upright. And there you have the full movement dynamics of play badminton. Please relax your position players, students, and let's return to center. Let's carry on with a closer look at our structural dynamics. And we'll look at this outstanding posture. And to help us understand these special techniques, Jennifer and Yvonne will do us the honor of preparing for play badminton right and left. Players? We'll set up in the three o'clock position. Students, please play along if you prefer or otherwise simply observe the movements. The right foot is facing three o'clock. You're on the ball of the left foot. Keep your right knee bent for greater stability. And let's arrange the left hand in a rooster comb, rooster head feathers position, pointing to the sky. Remember that the thumb is in line with the eye. The right hand is palm down beside the right hip region and a little bit away from the body. Are you ready? Lifting left leg to right knee area and then stepping forward landing heel. Form the dragon pearl left side. Step in slowly and hold position right there. Are you ready? First, the hips and shoulders turn to the right. You compress the pearl lightly and step out to the right. 
at around 5 o'clock and release the Dragon Pearl slowly. And let's hold position right there. Yvonne, I can see that your hand is considerably higher than it needs to be. First of all, a lot of stress is being placed on the shoulder here, so bring the hand down. And now we can see that the thumb line is in line with the upper part of the head. That's all. The rest of your form is quite good. Let's continue by rolling the weight to the rear left leg and opening the circle to shoulder width position, lifting the right toes at the end of the movement. Follow through by driving forward and stepping in, forming a right dragon pearl. Now, turning and stepping slightly left and release the pearl, gradually pushing the right hand forward and the left hand blocks the eyes from the sun, so to speak. All right, hold position for just a moment. Jennifer, I can see in your case that, first of all, the hand is much too low. This is a palm strike, which is usually delivered to the chest or to the face. So make sure that it's in line with the upper part of your chest, fingers no higher than the mouth and chin. But there's one other inaccuracy, and that is you have stepped directly to 3 o'clock. Come back and bring the left foot back and return to your original position with the dragon pearl. This time, I'd like you to make a turn to the left, and now step out, releasing the pearl gradually, and push through. That's a good height. Very well done, players. Please return to your positions. We're now ready to perform these elegant movements in synchronicity. Let's harness the body's flow of chi energy and direct it through the graceful form called play badminton. Players, students, if you're ready, we'll face the three o'clock direction and we'll move from golden rooster stands on right leg. Let's ride the inner wave in creative silence, shall we? This is play badminton, sometimes referred to as fair lady plays the shuttle. Please relax your positions, and thank you so much, Jennifer and Yvonne, for your fine demonstrations. From the traditional Eastern medical point of view, these exercises were designed to stimulate the flow of qi through the jing lo meridians of acupuncture, related to the vital functions of our internal organs. From the Western medical point of view, Tai Chi practice advances spinal column strength, increases the absorption of calcium through improved digestion, and boosts the immune system, to mention just a few of Tai Chi's wonderful benefits. As an art form, Tai Chi establishes the groundwork for graceful and coordinated body movement. These important benefits clearly illustrate Tai Chi's great popularity all over the world. Please remember that success is the result of dedicated practice. Well, we've completed yet another outstanding posture. Once again, special thanks to Jennifer and Yvonne, our Tai Chi players, for making this event so pleasant and rewarding. And students, thank you for riding the inner wave. Please join me for a final word on Tai Chi got an appetite for some mind munchies. Care to join me for a fortune cookie? This way, please. But 1,000 years ago, the Chinese invented 
and develop aquaculture. Through selective breeding, the carp was miniaturized and became known. It survived because of its likeness to gold and its ability to thrive in shallow ponds with little oxygen. Fascination with strength and beauty elevated the goldfish to an ornamental pet, and wealthy aristocrats and emperors stocked their garden pools for the goldfish's aesthetic properties. is in taking care of the moment that the future, whether bought in plastic bags for, it is the adapt, the same is true in the human world, to prepare for tomorrow, make the right use of today. Until next time. Be yourself. You will receive the Classical Short Form Companion video for $29.95 by calling 1-800-TAI-5595. This two-hour Tai Chi workout will be guided by Master Instructor Joey Bond, helping you achieve overall health and fitness. Instructional booklet and musical compact disc can also be yours for $19.95 by calling 1-800-TAI-5595. Be sure to have your credit card on hand. Broadcasting from Orange County, this is KOCE. Expand your mind. Let us entertain you with some of the Silver Screen's greatest stars. Two of Hollywood's most beloved, Gene Kelly and Fred Astaire, host this tribute to classic movie memories. Please let me stay. But I want to be alone. Don't miss, that's entertainment too. Tonight at 8 on KOCE. Next episode of Any Place Wild, we scale the heights of Olympus, highest peak on Washington's Olympic Peninsula. Well, that feels nice. Yeah. Mount Olympus also cradles one of the last glaciers in the continental United States. This looks like a beautiful crevasse. Yeah, that's a nice one. Join Annie Getchell as she explores the River of Blue Ice. Monday night at 9. Once, when the murderer screamed, you dirty rat, it was to a human informant. Nowadays, it could be a real rat, insect, or worm. Creatures and crime, next time on Nature. To miss it would be criminal.
Monday at 10 on KOCE.